As with any Class AB amplifier, we have to effectively remove the heat that is generated during use to allow it to operate to its maximum potential, and managing this within a compact form factor is a challenge. In Solo 500s, we've made use of a hybrid cooling approach, designed to be equally effective at passively cooling the system at lower temperatures and actively cooling the system at higher temperatures when the amplifier is being pushed hard. When cooling passively, Heat is transferred and spread through our machined thermal plate and into a series of fins that radiate the heat away into the air. When the active part of the cooling system starts, air is pressurised and equally distributed through the channels between those same fins. As the air moves along each of the channels, it pulls the heat away from the fins and exits through the top and rear of the amplifier. The cooling fins, with their zigzag shape and restricted openings, are designed to allow the air to remove the maximum amount of heat as it moves down each channel. The openings of each channel help to equalise the pressure and flow of air across the cooling plate, while the zigzag profile of the fins helps to encourage turbulence and increase the interaction between the moving air and the fins. The design of this thermal plate was optimised through a computer simulation in order to give the best combination of evenly spreading heat equalising pressure and airflow, and maximising the passive and active cooling achieved by the fin matrix. For Solo 500, we implemented a new intelligent fan control system to manage the cooling of the amplifier. As well as monitoring the temperature of the product, the control system also measures the level of the signal coming into the amplifier in real time. A combination of these readings is then used to set the speed of the low-profile fans which are mounted deep within the chassis to help minimise noise. During quieter passages of music, when the input signal falls below a set level, the fans are turned off completely and they remain inactive until the signal level returns to above a set level for a certain amount of time. Extensive thermal testing was carried out in order to let us create a control system that provides the cooling the product needs at any given time with the minimum amount of active cooling that is required. When this all comes together, it results in a cooling system that allows the amplifier to work optimally while taking up the minimum amount of space.